Welcome to part three. Um, I believe I skipped a tool in this set of six right here the, in the last video, uh, which is this one here, which is your follow me tool. Um, so I'll go over that real quick. Uh, let's say we have that same box here on the screen and we grab the arc tool. And um, we drag it down, make a little arc, make sure it's on the red axis, which is going along this line here. Um, grab our follow me tool, click on this little lip here and just drag it around the top. And when it gets to the last corner, just click again and it finishes the, uh, um, finishes the line all the way around, or the, uh, the shape that we just drew all the way around the box. Um, that's about the quick rundown of that. Um, now we go into the next set of tools, which are these six down here. Um, top left corner is your tape measure. Just click on that. And if you draw a box and have absolutely no idea how big it is, you can click on that corner, click on that corner, and then look down in the bottom right, and we'll see it's four feet, five and fifteen sixteenths inches long. Or if you want to draw something that is a certain um, length or height, uh, you can use a tape measure tool by drawing out a guideline first. Now let's say we want to um, come in from the side of this box, uh, uh, say two inches. So we click on that side and and if you look down at the right, uh, bottom right, um, you'll see the measurements. And then you can just click, um, type in two, and then your apostrophe, which um, indicates feet. And then just hit your enter, and it will set your guideline at uh, two feet. Um, or you can click from the bottom up so forth. Um, these are just basically guidelines, but uh, let's get rid of those. Um, and if you are drawing something um, that needs measurements, this very next one over is um, it's the same thing as the tape measure. It measures, except that it draws it right on your screen. So you click on this corner, and you click on this corner, and just drag out. It will automatically lay out your uh, measurements to tell you how big this side is. And if you want to do this side, um, you know, it does it for all sides, uh, whichever way you want to go. That way, that way, you can go up. Uh, oops. Sometimes SketchUp grabs some things you don't want it to, so you can, then you can drag that out. So either way, it's uh, whichever way you want to draw it out. Um, and you have your protractor here, which attaches to whatever um, face on whichever axis there is. Uh, that's your blue axis red and green. And this is also, uh, you know, you can draw out a guideline if you want to draw something at a certain angle, like clicking, oops, and just like that, I want it on the red angle. If you, if you didn't want it, just hit your space bar, and that clicks off it, and then just go back and click on it again. Uh, where you click first is your start point. And then just click anywhere along that axis, and then you can drag up. And if you look down in the right-hand corner, you, it shows you what angle it is. If you want to go on a 45-degree angle, uh, you can just click and hit 45 and then Enter. Um, and then that gives you a 45-degree angle guideline to go by. If you wanted to draw a line, like your pencil tool, just and then it it uh, 
snaps right along that line. And that way, if you want to use your push-pull tool, you can, you know, only you know, use that part. Uh, let's go to the next one. Um, I'm just going really quick over these basic tools. I'll get a little more in-depth in later videos. This is just to show you your basic beginning tools for SketchUp. Um, this ABC spot here. If you want to name a side, um, just click on it and drag off to the side. And click again, and then it gives you your uh, editing place to where you can type in anything. Like uh, this is a box. And then enter. Or, or space bar clicks off it. Or click on another tool. When you drag around, it uh, automatically moves to where you're moving. Um, the A down beneath that is the same thing. You can type out letters, but uh, this time it's like 3D, and you can set your perimeters here. Um, you can type out anything here in the box. I'll just type in box. You can choose your font style. Regular, italic, sometimes bold, um, align left, height, uh, filled, extrude. Um, let's just set it for, say, three inches tall. Um, and then just hit place. And then you can move it around wherever you want. And then just Click where you want it. Um, if you don't want it that uh, size, you can click on your scale tool and just drag it to whatever size you want. And if you want to raise it up a little bit, you can double click on it, which then you can hit your. Uh, push-pull tool and drag it up 3D and if you just drug that one up to a certain height all you have to do with the next one is just double click and it will well it should have like I did that one I'll just double click on this one there there it did it uh, sometimes it doesn't do what you want to you just have to keep going but anyways there's there's those um, and if you want to reset your uh, your axis lines, um, say you don't want it on this corner, say you want it on that corner, you can click on this and click there. You have to click three times in order for it to set. Um, but you want to have your blue axis facing straight up, or I guess that doesn't matter. You can face whatever side up you want. It's your second click and your third click, and that just redefined your axis lines. Um, okay, now the other two, uh, I guess the other tool I haven't gone over is just your paint bucket here. If you click on that, that automatically brings up your a materials box, which you can select down here. Um, you can brick and cladding. Like if you want that to look brick, um, or you know any of those, just click on these. You can go down to you know carpets and textiles if you're doing inside of houses. Colors is just a just a long list of solid colors you can choose from, um, and then just click on whatever surface you want to change the color of, and whatever color you can choose uh, metals diamond plate you zoom in there, um, stone oops didn't select a stone okay you know so it's got a bunch of presets already for uh, different um, colors textile or yeah let's see you can choose water wood Vegetation translucent. This is one that uh, is see-through. 
If you click on it, then you can see through, like if you're making windows or pools or something like that. Uh, or bathrooms with the uh, tiles, see-through tiles in it. Okay, that's about it for your basic tools. Um, next, I will be getting into some videos a little more in-depth than just showing you what tools do what, because uh, you can interchange different things, uh, mix them with stuff. Uh, I know I'm not getting very technical here, but anyways, um, you can assign shapes to make them um, groups or components. There's a whole bunch of stuff to get back into. And there's a lot of different uh, like shortcut keys for each of your tools. Um, we'll get into those a little bit later, but for now this is just your basic beginner tools, what they do. Um, there's multiple um, things you can use for each different tool. Uh, I'll get into those in like the intermediate section, but this concludes the uh, basic beginner. Next will be the intermediate. Uh, we'll see you then. Have a good one.